Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another Mac video tutorial. Today's topic is how to secure your privacy on Mac. Now this is going to be a quick dive into the security and privacy pane within system preferences and a little bit about each of these tools that are designed to maintain your security and of course your privacy. Upon first opening the pane, you're going to be needing to unlock it to make changes. So go ahead and put your admin password in. And the first section here under general is in regards to passwords. Options to have the computer need a password immediately upon login, have a message appear on the lock screen. So if it's lost or stolen, you can put a phone number or something like that and disabling automatic login. So the computer does not immediately log into any admin accounts with information. The bottom part of the general tab is to allow apps from the app stores and other developers. And of course you have advanced settings in here to log out of the computer after a certain amount of time or require an administrative password to make any major changes. If you are concerned about the sensitivity of your data, if you work in a secure environment, File Vault is definitely recommended as it does encrypt all of your data and requires a admin password and a recovery key. Computer's firewall is designed to protect you from incoming connections. So if you are planning on doing some networking or especially transferring information from one computer to the other, this may need to be turned on and the rules may need to be stipulated so that you can do so. You will notice that certain applications do allow incoming connections to communicate with your computer, but you can go through and change those settings at your own will. The last section in the security tab is for privacy, and this is in regards to your location sharing with different applications, contacts, calendars, reminders, different types of personal information that are allowed to be used by different applications on the computer. Now, a lot of people may not want to share any of this information, so you can go through and actually disable all of it, but you are going to have to manually input things like contact information or calendar dates. However, having these on and having a little bit of a parameter on what they're actually doing is a good idea if you want to get the full usage of all of the products that macOS uses. You will notice also a last tab for diagnostic data and this is if you have frequent app crashes and things like that you can opt in anonymously to share this information with apple so that they can hopefully resolve that issue for you and any other users out there so these are just the bare bones essentials for security you can always get antivirus or anything else that you want but this tends to get the job done on your mac as far as security and privacy goes i hope you found this helpful and we will talk to you soon take care